Hi everyone, it's Laura Volpes for Studio Katia and in today's video I'm going to share with you how to create a Halloween light up card using the Miaoi Halloween stamp set. I started off this card by doing some die cutting off camera. I used the loops dies to die cut some watercolor cardstock by Spectrum Noir to create one of the two panels that I will have on the front of my card. For the second one I used the dotted patterns set three dies and again I die cut some watercolor cardstock by Spectrum Noir. And lastly for my card base I have an A2 size rectangle that I die cut out of some black cardstock with the darling ribbon and frames dies. To create some very quick backgrounds today I'm going to use Distress Oxide sprays. For this first rectangular panel I'm using seedless preserves and picked raspberry. I am spritzing them quite generously on the panel. Make sure to shake the bottles before you start using your sprays and just spray enough product so that you get a good coverage on your watercolor cardstock rectangle. To speed up the drying process I used my heat gun but you can leave them to air dry and in order to save a little bit of that extra product that I have on my glass mat I created some droplets with a paintbrush. For the second panel I used wild honey and carved pumpkin and I just wanted to say that if you didn't want all that extra product to go to waste you could spritz the panels on top of some more watercolor cardstock or some scrap paper that you can then use on other projects to create your backgrounds. For a little bit of extra spookiness I created some droplets with distress ink in black suit and I'm also using it to darken up the edges of both panels. I started from the purple one and then for the orange one because it was quite bright I decided not only to darken up the edges but also to brush my distress ink in black suit also on the central part a little bit and here is how they look once you layer them. I think they're really really fun and they were super quick to make. Next I moved on and started working on my images. Today I'm using the Miaoi Halloween stamp set which is so so cute. I'm stamping the images on some Nina Solar White 110 pounds cardstock using Blackout Ink by Incon3. This is a hybrid ink so it will work with your alcohol markers as well as with your water based markers. And for my coloring today I decided to experiment a little bit with my new Triblend markers. I recently shared a video on my YouTube channel where I talk about these markers a little bit in more detail and there I explain also why I think these are great for beginners but also for more seasoned crafters and today I decided to put them to the test a little bit more and use them to color my images. The point with these markers is that you get three shades in one marker only, so you have a darker shade for your shadows, a intermediate shade for your midtones, and lastly a lighter shade for your highlights. The way in which it is recommended that you do your blending is by coating your area with your lighter marker first, then going in with your darker marker and create the shadow and then use the mid-tone marker to blend everything out towards the highlights. Of course, you know, you can use your alcohol markers in the way you find more comfortable, but I was trying what they recommend and it works quite well because when you add that first layer with your lighter marker you are basically wetting the paper and this way it will be easier to blend out your shadow and your mid-tone markers too. Of course you can use this technique with any alcohol markers you own, this is not by any means specific to tree blend markers. And as far as the video goes I decided to skip through the coloring because I really wanted to focus on the light up part of the card and how to create the backgrounds. So I went ahead and finished coloring my images and I cut them off camera and if you are interested in a list of the markers that I used you will find that in the blog post that is listed and linked in the description box down below where you will also find a list of the supplies that I used for this card. What I'm doing now is I'm using one of the dies in the coordinating dies to the Miaoi Halloween stamp set to create three spooky faces basically in my purple background. They will be peeking through the circular openings 
on my orange panel as you can see here and there is where I'm going to place my LED lights. So for the LED lights what I'm using today is the Pear Blossom Press Easy Lights. They are very easy to use as the name says and you already have basically your circuit already prepared for you with three LED lights attached to it. You also get a battery and all you need to do really before adding this to the card is to insert the battery with the positive side up. And there you also have your little push button that you can push to turn on your lights obviously after you have added the battery. So to build up my light up card the first thing I did was to coat the back of my purple panel with some vellum so that the vellum would diffuse the light a little bit and create a spookier effect and also slightly cover the actual LEDs. You can use also iridescent vellum, it will be very fun. Or you can color your vellum with alcohol markers if you wanted to give your lights a bit of a different tint. I glued down the orange panel on top of the purple one and then I went ahead and adhered my light up mechanism. I am using some strong double sided adhesive and I'm going to place it in the area where I want the push button to be. The idea for this card is that you would turn on your LED lights by pushing on the treat basket that the little kitty is going to hold. So I just put down the image where I wanted it to be on the final card without gluing it down, just to make sure that I am adhering the switch of my LED lights in the correct position. The next step is optional, but I think it adds an extra fun touch and also it helps you use up those scraps of foil that you might have. In this case I'll be using gold foil but you can use any color you like and I am basically coating the areas where my LED lights will be in the end with some double sided adhesive and then I am basically adding foil to those areas by just simply pushing down the foil with the right face up and I'm using my fingers to burnish the foil and make sure that it's transferred to the double sided adhesive. What this is going to do is it's going to intensify the effect of your LED lights because the foil is going to reflect some of the light back up through the openings that you have created on your card. So this is something that I think is really fun. And again, if you add different colors of foil, your LED lights will also get a different color basically or a different hue. Because we have that battery there, we need to create some thickness in our front panel. And so for that, I'm using some black foam adhesive by Studio Katia. I should have added two layers, I think, because there is a little bit of a bump where the battery is, but I thought one was sufficient. And anyway, it doesn't matter too much. It's not so evident and the card I think looks really cool in the end. But just as a you know word of caution for you, if you do recreate this card, I think having an extra layer of double-sided foam adhesive is going to help have an even top layer. Next, I started adhering all my images and first was the kitty with the treat basket and I love that the coordinating dies to the Miaoi Halloween stamp set also cut out the paws so that your kitty can hold items in his paws. For the sentiment, I used the chunky alphabet dies and I die cut the word boo out of some black cardstock and I'm using my Studio Katia liquid glue and my reverse tweezers to adhere the sentiment on the top part of the card. I also decided to complete the greeting with another saying and this time I am heat embossing the stamp that reads trick or treat with wet embossing powder on a circle of black cardstock that I die cut with the loops dies. So the same die set that I used to create that front orange panel. The embossing powder that I used is Ranger Fine Detail Embossing Powder and the stamp is part of the Miaoi Halloween stamp set too. So everything in this card as far as stamps goes comes from one mini stamp set only. You could most definitely stop here and the card will be a lot of fun but you know I have to add those finishing touches so I coated the sentiment as well as some of the images with a glitter brush pen by scrapbook.com. I added some 
Exotic Onyx Pearls using Studio Katia Liquid Glue and my embellishment wand just for an extra touch of dimension and shine and I love that these are black but are iridescent too so they add a little bit of color variation if you will and then lastly I used my Glossy Accents by Ranger to coat the boo part of the sentiment as well as the eyes and the nose of the kitty and also the rim on his hat as well as the collar so I was pretty generous with glossy accents I really love the effect of this product you see it now as I'm applying it it is a little bit milky but when it dries it dries completely clear and it adds such a beautiful shine and I also really love combining glossy accents with glitter brush pens. The result is absolutely magical, especially on black cardstock. And if you haven't tried it, trust me, try it out because it is really, really beautiful. I left everything aside to dry overnight and this is the final result once the glossy accents are completely dry. I really love the way this card turned out, I had so much fun creating it, I love the spooky background, that cute kitty that I can't get enough of and I absolutely love the fact that it's light up so it has an extra fun interactive touch to it and I can't stop playing with it. And that's it for today. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video and I hope I inspired you to create your own light up cards with the Miaoi Halloween stamp set by Studio Katia. If you haven't already, make sure to subscribe for more inspiration and as always, thank you all so much for stopping by and have a great day.